In 2013, Voyager 1 accomplished a basic achievement by turning into the first human-made spacecraft to enter interstellar space, completing the achievement 36 years after leaving Earth. The nonstop observatory is 14.5 billion miles from Earth, causing messages to take around 20 hours and 33 minutes to be sent and received. NASA specialists didn't expect that Voyager 1 would continue with space exploration. However, for most of a year, the spacecraft exceeded expectations, having identified 500 dark objects in space. Now, widely acclaimed podcaster Joe Rogan has joined the conversation to share the staggering delayed results of this remarkable discovery. What are these secret objects? Are they related to extraterrestrial life or a wandering plane? Join us as we explore how Voyager 1 identified 500 dark things floating in space and consider Joe Rogan's incredible revelations. Have you ever wondered why, despite the logical vastness of the universe, we haven't found solid evidence of extraterrestrial human advancement? This question is known as the Fermi Paradox, and it has been a mystery that has fascinated experts for a long time. A new finding in the depths of space has stunned scientists and may uncover answers to the age-old question of whether extraterrestrials exist. Joe Rogan, a seasoned professional and podcaster known for discussing extraterrestrials and the possibility of advanced alien civilizations, has recently hosted guests like David Grush and other researchers on the topic of life beyond Earth. Now, new data from Voyager may hold the key to answering whether we are truly alone in the universe. Buckle up as Joe Rogan breaks down why Voyager 1's revelation that it has detected 500 objects crossing space is a game changer and what it could mean for you, no matter where you are in the world. But before we get to the incredibly exciting part, let's understand how Voyager 1's mission came about. Isn't it surprising to imagine that our brilliant world, with its vast oceans and towering mountains, is just a tiny part of the much larger universe? Scientists have wondered about this for a long time. However, it wasn't until the 1970s that NASA experts had the amazing opportunity to determine the size of our solar system. Everything began with the alignment of the four largest planets in the planetary group, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Amidst the celestial dance, a graduate student named Gary Flandreau, who worked part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory while studying at Caltech, accidentally made a groundbreaking discovery. By carefully calculating and plotting the orbital paths of the giant planets, Flandreau noticed a pattern that would change space exploration forever. His findings in the late 1970s and early 1980s showed that these four planets followed a fascinating pattern, like pearls on a giant necklace with Earth among them. This discovery sparked excitement at NASA as it offered the intriguing possibility of advancing space travel by utilizing gravitational assists from each planet. A spacecraft could propel itself forward using a force comparable to the pull of invisible cosmic strings. Flandro's hypothesis suggested that gravitational assists from these giant planets could reduce flight time from Earth to Neptune from a daunting 30 years to just 12 years. However, there was a catch. This phenomenon happens only once every 175 years. Seeing the significance of this rare opportunity, NASA was determined to explore the planets. Two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, were built with the same setup and mission, launched 15 days apart in the summer of 1977. The twin pioneers aimed to unlock the secrets of the nearby planetary group and beyond. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, and became an essential part of the Voyager program, a symbol of humanity's curiosity and quest for knowledge. For nearly 50 years, this remarkable spacecraft has continued traveling, sending valuable data back to Earth through NASA's Deep Space Network. It has become our ears and eyes in space, bridging the gap between our known world and the uncharted territories beyond. While pondering Voyager 1's incredible journey, it's important to note that it is currently just a breath away from Earth. As of August 2023, the spacecraft is an astounding 14.5 billion miles from our planet, carefully managed and operated by the brilliant minds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. It was launched from Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station aboard the Titan III launch vehicle. When you think you've seen everything, reality unfolds. Now, let's take a deeper dive into this amazing mission of 500 dark objects floating in space and the fascinating explanation Joe Rogan recently shared on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. 
How did Voyager 1 manage to reach interstellar space? Imagine a spacecraft wandering into the vast unknown, exploring the infinity of deep space. That's Voyager 1 for you. This ambitious spacecraft is now an unprecedented 14.5 billion miles from our planet. Take a moment to consider this distance. It's roughly 3.6 times the distance from Earth to the Sun in one year. However, there's more to explore than just speed, distance, and longevity. Voyager has also uncovered a significant revelation involving the discovery of 500 dark objects hidden in the vast expanse of space. This discovery is unlike anything we've seen or studied before. It is a treasure trove of immense mystery and wonder. And we will uncover the details of this discovery. You might wonder how a spacecraft launched in 1977 is still operational and sending back such intriguing data. The answer lies in the incredible engineering and foresight that went into Voyager 1's design. One of the key secrets to its longevity is the presence of two backup computers. Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, are equipped with two computer subsystems, the Flight Data Subsystem and the Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystem, AACS. This redundancy is a smart move that ensures the reliability of systems and the ability to activate components when needed, extending their lifespan. The computer system on the Voyager spacecraft is designed as a distributed system, including three redundant computers. This clever design ensures that even if one of the systems fails, the others can handle the mission perfectly, preventing critical objectives from being compromised. To minimize power usage, Voyager systems rely on wired logic. These computer systems are designed with complex algorithms that work within energy budgets and time constraints. Power management during spacecraft development was a crucial factor in maintaining operational integrity. Voyager 1's distance from the Sun presents a significant challenge to its ability to harness solar energy for maximum efficiency. Engineers had to find innovative ways to optimize energy use. One such method involves prioritizing power for essential functions. Engineers carefully examined parts or subsystems that were not necessary for the mission, such as the heaters of certain scientific instruments, and disabled them. These heaters were designed to maintain the equipment at a specific temperature for optimal operation, but when turned off, they reduce energy consumption, thereby extending the spacecraft's overall service life. However, decisions regarding power management for essential functions are never taken lightly. They involve a thorough evaluation of trade-offs between energy savings and mission. Objectives Experts work closely with researchers to ensure that disabling certain systems doesn't compromise the quality and utility of scientific data. The goal is to find a balance that maximizes energy efficiency while maintaining critical performance. Voyager 1's power management system can adjust to changing conditions as the spacecraft moves farther from the sun. As solar energy decreases, Voyager 1 adjusts its power consumption accordingly ensuring sufficient resources to support key tasks and data transmission. It's like having a smart energy manager on board for the long haul. Significant technological advances and improvements have been made in power management. Engineers continue to refine Voyager's power systems through advancements like improved power distribution, enhanced battery charging systems, and more sophisticated electrical and thermal management. Thanks to these successful energy management strategies, Voyager 1 has exceeded all expectations. Just six months after its launch, it continued to provide valuable insights, and considering this space mission was conducted many years ago, its longevity is truly remarkable. It speaks volumes about the dedication and ingenuity of the scientists and engineers who have worked tirelessly to maintain Voyager 1. That said, we shouldn't overlook the fact that the depths of space are full of surprises. Stay tuned as more discoveries are on the way. Voyager's mission is equipped with a valuable array of electronic instruments and systems. These instruments were integrated into the spacecraft's fuselage, consisting of 65,000 individual parts. Although Voyager began its interstellar journey with a collection of functional devices, only four remain operational on Voyager 1 and five on Voyager 2. One of the long-term instruments aboard both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 is the Low Energy Charged Particle, LECP instrument. This device features three types of particle sensors that measure the number and speed of low-energy particles hitting it, detecting cosmic radiation and probing the sun, planets, and interstellar space. 
a companion instrument, the Cosmic Ray Instrument, actively searches for high-energy particles from the Sun and other cosmic sources. These cosmic radiation instruments now detect materials produced from deep interstellar space and the protective bubble created by the Sun's influence. These readings are crucial in determining when Voyager 1 entered interstellar space. Another critical instrument is the plasma wave subsystem, which measures the electromagnetic field of potentially covered exoplanets. As Voyager enters interstellar space, this instrument provides data on how plasma waves change as they travel through space. The magnetometer, initially designed to study the magnetic fields of outer planets, now plays a crucial role in exploring the transition zone between the local planetary group's inner layer and the core. Scientists use this instrument to examine the magnetic properties of the transition area where the sun's magnetic field interacts with material on the sun's surface, offering insights into how planetary magnetic fields evolve over time. It's important to note that the magnetometer remains functional on both Voyager. 1 and Voyager 2. Scientists can now discern the exact density of plasma particles that lie far beyond the sun's influence, giving them critical data to help predict the future behavior of our solar system. Now, as we witness the incredible success of Voyager's mission, it's clear that we are only scratching the surface of this deep space adventure.